You might remember the name Don Blankenship because a few years ago, he spent a year in jail because of a mining disaster at one of his mines that took the lives of 29 coal miners. And now he's back, don't call it a comeback, but he does wanna be your senator in West Virginia. And currently he's in a very contested primary on the Republican side. Now he has attempted to stand out in the Republican field by using racial slurs, which I say is a stupid strategy, they're all doing it, you fool. But he's come up with one that I haven't heard in a while. And it is China person, which he doesn't think is a racial slur. And so he said it originally, he doubled down in a debate. We can go over that if we want, but he's released a new campaign ad and it is just, it's just a work of art, let's watch. Hi, I'm Don Blankchip, candidate for US Senate and I approve this message. The politicians are running a lot of crazy ads. They blew up the coal mine and then put me in prison. Now they're running the ads that say the coal mine blew up and I went to prison. There's no surprise there. But if you want jobs, if you want to end the drug epidemic and you want to protect the unborn, you need to vote for me. One of my goals as U.S. Senator will be to ditch cocaine Mitch. When you vote for me, you're voting for the sake of the kids. Hi, I'm Don Blankchip, candidate for U.S. Senate, and I approve this message. Swamp Captain Mitch McConnell has created millions of jobs for China people. While doing so, Mitch has gotten rich. In fact, his China family has given him tens of millions of dollars. Mitch's swamp people are now running false negative ads against me. They are also childishly calling me despicable and mentally ill. The war to drain the swamp and create jobs for West Virginia people has begun. I will beat Joe Manchin and ditch cocaine Mitch for the sake of the kids. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like, they don't deserve that. You know? Those poor <laughs> children. Those poor innocent children. They're like, Vote well, Daddy, me, what's cocaine? Kid. Papa, what's <laughs> cocaine? <laughs> like, what? I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, yeah. What's the chances that those kids are not related to them? <laughs> 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 and, and you're right, Brooke. He talks about cocaine Mitch while holding two kids. <laughs> yeah. Okay, don't talk about the cocaine while holding the kids. Hey, you said it enough. <laughs> yeah. Got it. He's amazingly going to get me to do my first ever defense of Mitch McConnell. Mm -hmm. There is no actual charge that Mitch McConnell does cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. it, like they say cocaine was found on a ship of his father in law, whatever. <laughs> like, what? What does that have to do with Mitch McConnell? Also, one thing that cocaine does not make you you do is act like Mitch McConnell. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, yeah. This whole time, he, it's obvious he is trying to remember the one sentence they gave him before they cut, and then he gets yes. fed the new sentence. You could tell it's like it's intense. <laughs> like, you know, they say I went to prison. His eyes are no, so, like he's trying so hard. It's like watching someone remember dance moves. His eyes. <laughs> he's like he's smiling. I've been there. So <laughs> um, his eyes are so just like dead and lifeless that I just was thinking, dude, you need to smile. Until he did smile, yeah. and it was way creepier. They cut right to a. <laughs> so which was worse. So bad. Uh, but you know, so his first line, I'm Don Blankenship, but you should vote for me. Uh, he had the dead look in his eyes of a guy who is constantly thinking about the 29 coal miners who lost their lives in one of his mines. I think it's actually weighing on him. <laughs> you think so? You and that's, you, you, you see first. death there. Okay, I mean, it's it's funny that you mentioned death because I'd like to go to graphic 16. Okay, okay so this is a picture of Don Blankenship. Um, and you know, you're familiar with him, you just saw him. Uh, here's another picture of Don Blankenship. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> okay, you can't unsee it. You can't unsee it. Okay. I mean, you're telling me that that guy who did the ad is not the pallbearer? Okay. Is that what you're trying to claim? I mean, there was like a, as I was watching the ad, I thought there was a 25% chance that the Undertaker was going to show up behind him. Okay. So, anyway, now we're burying the lead. Bring it. Yeah. China person. Oh yeah, uh, and your on. China family. And, and China family. I've never heard China family. That's a new one. He went old school and then new school. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So Ben and I are talking about this, like the funniest, um, like slurs. Now, how could a slur be funny? It's because it's it's ironically funny. Because how could you be so backward, so ignorant, so ridiculous as to use the word Chinaman? Right, so yeah. now that's the what people used to say back in the day, and they, we, Ben and I, for years, have been making fun of all those old slurs like uh, Mohammedan, right? Mm -hmm. That's an old school one. 
poll, wait for it. <laughs> you think Muhammad is not gonna go into some ad later in this campaign cycle? Anyway, China, man, I haven't heard that one in decades yeah. and we would joke about how we never heard it. But tr thank you, Trump. <laughs> thank you, Don Blankenship. They brought it back. They brought it back. We should have bet on it. Okay, but <laughs> instead he put a twist on it, which is slightly more modern. China person. Yeah. Like because he doesn't want to offend it's China women. Neutral. Exactly. Yeah. For sure. yeah. Uh, like I want to this strategy <laughs> meeting. And, like who wrote this script? Who helped him with somebody for sure or helped him with this? But who I, it's just I I don't I, I want to say I want to be there, but then I don't. I, I also probably would not be allowed. But, <laughs> Wait till I get a load of me. I, my my wife is Chinese. I, I don't even want to know. I don't want to know. Anyway. So then he, uh, of course, famously, I guess famously now, it's been a couple of days, defended himself mm. uh, by saying uh, uh, that, well, no, 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 that's not a racial slur. Uh, there are, quote, Korean persons and African persons. That's not a thing. I'm an American I have, person. I have literally <laughs> never, ever heard the phrase Korean person. Is, is he talking <laughs> about cuisine? It's <laughs> Korean cuisine. Is yeah, Korea, no, Korean no. persons. Are there Korean people? Yes. Is Korean persons a phrase? No. Never spoken before Don Blankenship said it. But even that is Korean person. This is like not the adjective form. It would be your Korea person and yeah. China person. I don't think that the word itself is racist, but I'm willing to bet that the person who says that word is totally racist. Also, exactly it's what so he was doing itchy. with the word is racist. Like with the message he was trying mm. to point out is right. pretty awful, even if he used a word that was more PC. It's oh, pretty wait. awful. No, like, no, no. Brooke makes a <laughs> Brooke makes a great, great point. And look, I actually there's some chance that there's some old school people they just haven't caught up, right? And like when they were growing up in 1945, people used to say Chinaman and they used to say colored person, oh. et cetera. By the way, one they of his- They still say that. Yeah, one of Blankenship's defenses was like, no, it's not a race like Negro. Like, oh, please yeah. stop talking, <laughs> please stop talking, right? Right. right. So anyway, um, but I think Brooke is absolutely right to point out the worst part of that, which is why is he randomly attacking Mitch McConnell's wife and father-in-law for being Chinese? Like he didn't, there's no allegation that they did anything. It's <laughs> Elaine Chao is actually the transportation secretary for Donald Trump. If he said, "Oh, there is an allegation that they're working with the Chinese government," that would be made up. But at least that would give you a reason to mention their race. Yeah. He mentions their race as in like, "Got him." Why is he talking <laughs> right. about Mitch McConnell? Because he's, he's you're not primarying <laughs> him. By the way, it's if you're confused, Mitch McConnell's in a different state. Right. He's, not, he's, he's, he's not from Kentucky. Him. Blankenship is running in West Virginia. Well, because I mean, this is like giving it too much credit by analyzing it at all. The idea of using the kinds of terms that Trump uses, which are popular with people whose votes this guy is trying to seek, are things like the swamp, going after China for screwing us in the trade deals that we've made with them. He's trying going against you know the swamp monsters like Mitch McConnell get them out i'm the new one he's he's definitely trying to appeal to trump type voters by using trump type language unfortunately he's going against you know some things that he you know, that yeah. are that are very trump yeah i will give him credit though uh, if you are running in west virginia where i mean the coal industry is obviously small and it's shrinking but it gets you know more attention than perhaps it should it's a, considered a big thing you gotta give credit to the guy who's gonna run despite having presided over an absolutely horrific mm -hmm. disaster in a mine, but then brings it up in his ads. That's another great point. So it, with the famous ad of Christine O'Donnell in Delaware where she starts her ad with, I'm not a witch. Like, <laughs> it's like a politics 101 of what not to do, <laughs> right? right? Cuz everybody then goes, why, are you a witch? Why is this a conversation? <laughs> right? So this guy did it twice. Now, they're saying that I, I killed 29 people in a coal mining disaster. <laughs> and, and, and 29 people did die in a coal mining disaster I presided over. Right. <laughs> Why did you just say that twice? And, it, and that's oh God, not a lie. That like, what are, what's happening? <laughs> About and, the coal miners, damn, there it is again. <laughs> and this is not a Rudy Giuliani interview with Sean Hannity where there's no proper, this is an ad.
Yeah. You had time to think this through. This was practiced and written and, yeah. and approved by someone. It's like someone helped him with this. This is yeah. just. Right. And by the way, there were two ads there. The first yes. one was the first one that he released where he does the creepy smile at the end. <laughs> then he got in a lot of trouble for saying China person, etc. in a Fox debate. Then he runs the second ad where he doubles down on not only does he have a China person, he a China family. <laughs> okay. But he added the kids in the second one, and that was yeah. important. That's what, that was his yeah. takeaway that he needed um, something soft. Also, yeah. when he's mentioning yeah. the people that died at the coal mining accident, the music cue they choose is boom, 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 so boom, awful. like a jaunty bluegrass ditty. It's like, no, you're talking about death and destruction. <laughs> well, yes. what do you expect from the pallbearer? Oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, there is. A real excellent candidate actually in that race, not on the Republican side, but on the Democratic side, and no, not Joe Manchin. Uh, Paula Jean Swearingen, she's running for that seat. Wouldn't it be amazing if we got an excellent progressive instead of these monsters and ghouls and goblins? Right. So we'll put the links for Paula Jean in the description box below if you're watching on YouTube or Facebook. Easy peasy, just click on them, find out more. At a bare minimum, find out more. Paula Jean Swearingen. Someone who's been in West Virginia and her family's been there for a long, long time, daughter of coal miners, and actually fighting for real coal miners and the real people of West Virginia. Vote for someone that you could actually live with. Jesus, that doesn't make you want to throw up like this. We'll vote for someone who actually will fight for you instead of guys like this. Yes. You only have like four days, by the way. Yeah, it's coming up. It's coming up very soon. By the way, next Tuesday, we're covering primaries, giant primaries next Tuesday. Yeah. So make sure you tune in here at uh, tyt.com slash live. Uh, so you know the show is normally 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern, and it will be that day as well. And at, after the show at 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, election coverage, primary nights, three big ones coming up, May 8th. 15th and 22nd, back to back to back on Tuesdays. Uh, a ton of states are voting, don't miss it. There's high drama in all these. Could you imagine if Blankenship wins the Republican primary? Right now he's in oh. third. Let's but with ads like these. It's, it's either, it's like, you know yeah. what that's gonna happen. But do. I'll tell you, look, if this works, uh, I despair of humanity. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, this would be a backbreaking. Uh, election. If Blankenship wins after running these ads, because yeah. he was trailing, if these ads propel him to number one, uh. two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber, and second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.